Casey Neistat revolutionized YouTube, and we see the ripples his impact caused shown in new and upcoming creators every single day. Today, I'd like to share the story of Casey Neistat and the ways that he's inspired me. Now, Casey's story is a long one and goes back further than you may know. And it all started right here. Well, kind of. Casey's YouTube revolution was fueled by his daily vlogs that spanned over the course of a remarkable 534 days. This is where I learned of him as well as many others, but to chalk up his whole career to just the daily vlogs would be a major diss. In reality, his story started much, much earlier. He left home at the age of 15 after having a huge fight with his mother, bounced around some of his friends' houses for a bit, and then moved into a house with two girls. After living with them for a while, one of the girls became his girlfriend, and they moved down to Virginia when his girlfriend got in a fight with a roommate and decided to leave. Casey stated that he was happy in Virginia, but after three months down there, his girlfriend got pregnant and they ended up moving back home to Connecticut. Just after his 17th birthday, his son Owen was born. When he was a year and a half old, they drove up to New York to stay with Casey's older brother, who had actually just bought an iMac. They made a little movie where they took Owen to the zoo, and Casey loved the process of it. When they got back home, Casey maxed out a credit card and bought one, because in his words, I spent all my free time making these little movies, and for the first time in my life, I felt like by telling these stories, I had a voice. A little while later though, his girlfriend, the mother of his son, dumped him. It was at this moment that he ended up making the decision to move to New York City. This decision ended up being a catalyst for what unfolds over the next 20 years. Sorry, still not quite there. When he arrived in New York, his ambition was to become a filmmaker. He says this moment was the hardest time he had in his life. He only got to see his son three days a week, he didn't know anyone, and he didn't want to fail. The summer of 2001 was his first summer in New York City, and at first he worked as a bike messenger before an artist named Tom Sachs hired him. At the end of the summer, his sublet was up, and a buddy of his allowed him to move in and stay on his couch for a month. And the first day of that agreement was September 2nd, 2001. Now, we all know what happened nine days later when the Twin Towers were hit, but Casey actually knows it better than most. See, this was when, these are the firemen, like, all rushing in. Um, this is me biking through nearby. These are all people waiting outside. That's the World Trade Center right there burning. That's, that's 20 year old Casey, scared out of his mind, riding my bike up the West Side Highway to get away from, to get away from the towers. After his dad told him to leave New York City and come home, Casey thought about everything. He decided to stay and commit everything to making his dream come true. And well, it's very safe to say that he did. Uh, I'm in St. Bart's, which is like a, a small island somewhere in the Caribbean. Today is March 25th, 2015. It's also my 34th birthday, and I have a big announcement to make. Let me explain. This video marked a change in the landscape of YouTube, a change in the trajectory of Casey's life, and what follows it has inspired millions of people myself included. He went on to post 534 vlogs over 534 days, a seemingly insurmountable task when you take in all of the factors of figuring out a new idea every single day, filming the video, editing the video, and above all else, making it entertaining. He excelled in every area of this, which is shocking because not only was he able to post every day, but each video had a level of quality some people could only strive to reach. His videos all encapsulate a certain style that makes you very aware upon the first few seconds that you're watching a Nystat video. Every Casey Nystat vlog has an intro that's recognizable immediately. You hear the music start to play, the title card pops up, and you know from right there that it's gonna be a good one. This style of intro has been used by YouTubers across the platform like David Dobrik and Jay Swanson, but none of them are on the same level as Casey's. 
All of his vlogs utilize the cold open technique where shortly before you get to the title card, you're given an insight into what's going on. It draws you in from the moment you load up one of his videos and his use of it is perfect. He uses a lot of different scenes in every video as they're a part of his life. And that's what he does. He allows us to see the hustle and bustle of his everyday life. He bikes, rides a boosted board, uses time lapses, utilizes chill music to counteract the craziness of New York City. His storytelling is next level and he's not afraid to speak his mind about his opinion of a subject. In fact, he's been doing that in his movies since before YouTube was even a thing. He sure didn't stop after it was a thing either. Now I said that Casey managed to post 534 daily vlogs in a row, but as the saying goes, all good things must come to an end. The final daily vlog was posted on November 19th, 2016, and to say the least, he handled it in his typical fashion by ripping it clean off and not beating around the bush. It's not clickbait. I really am ending the vlog. He cited the fact that daily vlogging had become the opposite of why he started it. There was no longer a challenge. It became easy. He found a rhythm and he felt that it was no longer the creative fist fight that he longs for. In order to figure out his next step, he had to close the curtain on this stage of his life. The Vietnam Notebook told the story of an adventure he took with this kid back in 2012. It was a return to his roots, with this video being more of a film than a vlog, more of a movie than a YouTube video. He continues to post frequently to this day, although production has slowed down to like one or two videos per month on his YouTube channel. He's a busy guy after all.